The luminaire arrangement in this room has been produced using the quick planning wizard and the uh, fittings are spaced so that from centre to centre half that distance is uh, set off from the walls to the centre of that fitting and uh, it may not be modularly spaced and if it's going to go into a ceiling system which is for example 600 by 600 then some adjustments need to be made double clicking on a luminaire shows the properties of that luminaire arrangement clicking on the positions tab the um, button here is set at end point which is um, the top right hand corner of the room 14 and a half meters by 9. If that's changed to distance that is now the distance between the center of one fitting and the center of the next fitting. The value in X is not a multiple of uh, 0.6 of a meter. That needs to be changed. If I round that up rather than down to 2.4 and hit the tab key, I get a question to discard earlier results. And the uh, spacing in Y, just by chance, does happen to be a multiple of 0.6 of a meter. Therefore, that doesn't need to be changed. The fitting positions have been changed. And if I use the button for overall view of the scene, some of the fittings now are outside the room. What needs to be done now is to change the number of luminaires per row, reducing that by one. I'm hitting the tab key there. All fittings are in the room now and um, there's only a, a slight adjustment to be made, not very significant, but to centre those luminaires in the room, a right click on a luminaire, align and distribute centre in space and that just nudges the arrangement into the centre of the room. At this stage it's helpful to do a calculation just to check on whether the target illuminance is being met or exceeded. This icon gives a single sheet output. And we'll see if the target illuminance of 500 lux is met. that icon to give a view which is full width. Scrolling down and within a reasonable tolerance um, the average of 500 lux you could say is being met. It's only a 10 lux difference there, 9 lux difference. This um, grid that's being shown is um, confusing in a way, and um, which is placed at uh, one meter intervals. That can be switched off, 
And if you're interested in a um, ceiling layout being shown as an output, there's um, various ways of getting around that because the output page that you can show um, doesn't have the ability to overlay a ceiling layout. Luminaire layout plan, looking at that as an output. The luminaires are modularly spaced but the ceiling grid isn't shown and in the properties of that sheet um, it's not there isn't a tick box for putting on say a a grid. And the way of getting around that one way is to have a screen grab of the CAD window after overlaying a reference grid. So clicking on that making that horizontal, click again and just move up the page click again in the properties the grid size needs to be adjusted to 0.6 tab key 0.6 tab again and just to make that absolutely straight 0 tab that That is the origin of that grid, and I can move that that's being positioned so that that luminaire, for example, is just dropping into the center of that grid, and then the extent of the grid could be reduced to just fill the room and at the top here the angle is just going to be refined to zero again and then to actually get an image of that window with the grid on and the luminaires file export save CAD view as an image and then clicking on that that will save it and I can show you the end result of that that image file can be put into say a word document and titled up and it will be something that will be useful to a ceiling contractor